how to deploy a Python visualization panel app to Google Cloud using the Google Cloud App Engine. We're going to cover four steps. The first step is Google Cloud Setup. Second is to create a panel app. And the third is to deploy the panel app to the Google Cloud App Engine. And finally, we're going to um, try to set up the GitHub actions for automating the workflow. You should be able to create a panel app that looks like this. And this is running on Google Cloud. Um, I know this this is a simple, very simple demonstration with few lines of code. Um, this is not a pre-test pre demo, but this is just for a simple demonstration. Um, Panel is a very powerful tool. There is a website called awesomepanel.org where you can see all the pretty um, Python visualization projects. Um, yeah, check it out if you're interested in the Panel app. Step Google Cloud Setup, you can go to this page. This is the app, uh, app Engine Python 3 Quick Start. And then it listed a couple steps we need to do. Let's first go to the project selector and create a new project. Let's call it Panel Demo Project ID Panel Demo. Is it taken? Demo. Cool. Okay, so let's go to the second thing. We need to enable the billion. Um, I think billion. Right, en enable billion on the project. So I need to manage billing accounts. Yeah, we can create an account here. Here I have an account and it is covered for all my projects. So we're all set over there. But if you don't have billing set up, you might want to uh, set it up right now. Third step is to enable the Cloud Build API. Let's do that very quick. Yeah, here we see we're on the right project to enable it. And finally, we have the install and initializing the cloud SDK. Yeah, you can follow the steps. I already did this one, so um, I will not show you this step but you can just go through this it's really easy so now if we we're in the terminal we should be able to do gcloud init to initialize the cloud sdk i already did that and then we need to do the uh, set project to the current panel gcp demo project uh, now we can go to the next step create a panel app uploaded all my files to this github repo uh, let's go through all the files here we have the app.py which is the python file that creates the panel app if you run panel serve um, in your command line locally you can serve it locally and then second we have the requirements.txt which lists all the package dependencies our panel app depends on and finally we have the app.yaml this is the app engine configuration file for the panel app which depends on bokeh we need to define the environment as, as the flexible environment um, I think it's because the app engine fle flexible environment supports the web sockets um, uh, if your if your app doesn't depend on okay you might not need the flexible environment and then we need to define the entry points um, yeah this should work just for everybody and deploy our app to the Google Cloud App Engine
with those three files. First of all, we need to initiate your App Engine app. Okay, now we can do Google Gcloud app deploy to see if that works. Seven minutes, that's finished running. Now we can see what it looks like. So this, oh, this window opened up. Now I can see that this app has been served on Google Cloud. Yay! With our demo project. That is great. So in our repo, we have this .github workflow CM Python app demo file. This is the configuration for GitHub Actions. We're telling it whenever we're pushing a change to our main branch, um, it will run the job of deploy an app engine app, so it will redeploy every time we push changes to main. Um, yeah, so the only thing we need from here is the uh, the project and also the credentials of the project. Um, this is the we need to create a service account and uh, put the credentials here. Um, so the secrets are actually stored in, right here, GDP cred credentials and uh, GCP project. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get the credentials next. That's on this page where we enable the IAM API. Next, enable. And we go to create a service account. Select the right project for GitHub Actions. For GitHub Actions, create and continue. Select row, we do owner. Continue, and that's it. Okay, so we have all the service account for the project. So this is the one we just created. We can take a look. Okay, this next thing we need to do is we need to create keys. Now we need to create a new key and save it as a JSON file. Let's do it. Okay, now it's saved. Here I open up the JSON file. I'm just gonna copy and paste it um, into the GitHub section. Credentials update value. Update value here. An update project. We have panel GCP demo. Okay, now it should work. Okay, now let's make some changes to our repository. Our files, great. How about let's create a new app? App, let's call it app1.py. Right, we'll just do the exact the same thing here. And then for the app.yaml, let's try to serve both apps at the same time. See what happens. Add another app.
for nine minutes and this build runs successfully and we, we, we can go to <clears throat> this page again uh, we see there are two apps we can go to either one of the app and they look the same because I just copy and paste one app to another yeah so here is how you deploy things um, that's it for today's video. Thank you.